All right, trying to make this video as short as possible because I'm really not doing so well right now. Haven't been sleeping well lately, so let's get into it. I want to talk about Saloon again, the tabletop RPG that Conquer Creations, my own company, is making. As I've been talking about for a while, it's a game that doesn't use dice, instead using deck of playing cards. It's a game about the Wild West involving magic and mysticism. It takes a lot of inspiration from movies and old TV shows you'll see on something like MeTV. There's no class system, but there's a custom character building system. You can use your points to buy abilities, skills, and even equipment. With that, you may call it bullshit, where or you need to use the same point system to upgrade yourself and get better equipment, but everything you purchase, you should weigh your options. Should you buy this ability? Should you buy this gun? Or should you save your luckies because it also is something else that's very important? Your life. When you run out of luck, you die. So you've always got to keep on your toes and weigh your luck, because everything you do is a bet. In all honesty, this game might be bad for those with a gambling addiction. But let's move on to what you can buy with the luckies. You've got skills. Skills are rather odd, but I've got a list right here. Bow combat, which is obvious, it's how to fight with a bow. Detection, which essentially is your ability to spot things or people in an area. Explosives, or how good you are with the throwing boomstick. Gun combat, or how good you are with the holding boomstick. Husbandry, which could be one of two things. How you get a man to marry you, or... How to tame and train an animal to ride. Actually, that could be the same thing right there, now that I think about it, but... Let's not go into that. Lie, which is the ability to convince your friend that he really does look good in that hat, and he doesn't look like an absolute dweeb with it. Life magic. This is a force of nature, and how to manipulate it... Melee weapon combat. This is knowledge on the sword. While they were trying to get laid, you studied the blade. Negotiate, or as Oliver Twist puts it... Please, sir. I want some... More? <laughs> Physical magic. Play the last airbender intro here. Wait, shit! Water, earth, fire, air. Sciences, when Bill Nye just won't do no more, so you try it yourself. Sneak. I bet you didn't hear me explain that because my words were sneaking. Survival is what you need when you can't find a drive through on your road trip. Thrown weapon combat. It's essentially your dodgeball skill. Unarmed combat is the way of the Iron Fist. I bet only two of you will actually get that reference. Understanding is your ability to read a person like they're the book Pride and Prejudice. And weapons crafting is when you want to engineer a new gun, new bomb, or a new snare for your drum. I mean trap. You can hyper-focus those or become a jack-of-all-trades and a master of all, too. But then there's abilities you can build into as well, from the ability to ricochet a bullet or bend the world itself to your will, or raise the dead, or just get behind someone and say, Nothing personnel, kid. The abilities are where your game really shines as different ones can be used for different ways to do different things, and from the mundane to the wild, but using them also requires luckies, unless it's one of the passive ones, which can be blessings or banes too. 
Now that's the very basics of the game, which I brought up in two videos? Three? So am I talking about it for ten minutes now? Well, uh, it's complete. Yeah, the primary book is done, and I'm working on a second book, which will be called the New Alban Field Guide. What's New Alba? Well, that's the nation that most of what you'll be doing in this book will take place in. It's essentially America. To the north is Oteno, with a place with massive rams and French. A lot of French. It's essentially not Canada. And to the south is Tetixa, which was conquered by a nation from another continent, forced to convert to a religious belief that is still very strong. It's essentially not Mexico. I got off track, I just realized. The New Alban Field Guide is essentially the Monster Manual or the Bestiaries. I only just started getting things written down. It'll take a lot of time, but the main book is actually done. It's not just done, it's got a whole mini-adventure written into it as well so that you can learn the game. It's a mini-game based off of one of my test games too, actually. So, what are we doing now? Well, I'm going to start working on making an advertisement for the books. Then we'll set up the Kickstarter for it. Hopefully, it'll get us get or it'll help us get the word out there, get people interested, whatever have you. So, there's a huge chance I'll end up slowing down with this channel some. I don't know yet. I'm still going to try and do the once a week video uploads, but there's a good chance it might slow down to twice a month uploads. But who knows? What I'm going to ask y'all is to help me out with this. The views on all my videos are random at best. Sometimes they're huge, sometimes they only get 10 views. It's never going to be a consistent number. But please, help me out. Like, share, comment, whatever have you. Take a look at the test of saloon that's still on our website, conquercreations.com. At some point, I'll probably put up the pre-written adventure up on there too without any cost when the full game releases, just so y'all can get it and an idea. Those that did stick to the end of this video, I want to say thank you. I really do appreciate it. I know there's nothing keeping y'all here, and you could have gotten most of the idea from the multiple other videos I put out. Saloon is a personal project, and I am very passionate about it, so thanks again, and now, shove off. <laughs>